Good morning. I'm early this morning. Um, I hope you're having a good Wednesday. I am making a cup of coffee as we speak. Um, can I say thanks for all of your prayers over the last couple of days? It's been kind of wild. Um, it is something, of course, I can't really say, uh, talk about because it involves one of my children. And so there's privacy there for her. Um, but everything is okay. Uh, it was just a hurdle to climb, if that makes sense. Um, I wrote down the prayer request. I am so sorry, y'all, that I've been so busy for the last two days. But family, of course, comes first. And y'all are family, too. But this was uh, something that we had to take care of. And um, like I said, everybody's fine. Nobody's in danger or got a bad horrible diagnosis of cancer or anything crazy like that uh so i just thought i know y'all are wondering what in the world is going on with me right i am making me a cup of coffee oh, and i have an ultrasound this morning so i had to get up bright and early i have an ultrasound i have to be there at 8 30 on my ovaries and cervix and all that because i never did that y'all i put it I, I i missed the appointment and so i never got it done so today is the day i go and um have to be there at 8 30 this morning so i got up bright and early y'all are gonna see me making my coffee but i did get up about five i woke up about five i got out of the bed about five thirty. I got straight in the shower and then uh, came in here and read all your prayer requests from the last couple of days. And I also uh, read all of last night. I read most of your comments, um, but I wrote down the prayer requests this morning and then I went and put on my face. Can I say as crazy as it is, I don't know why it works this way, but I had on a black shirt and a blue shirt together. And um, I went in there and I changed my shirt. And can I say that just putting on a bright colored shirt can do a world of good for your uh, psyche. <laughs> I shouldn't say psyche, but you know what I mean. Um, it's so funny because we were going through town the other day and we passed the sidekicks place. And I've talked about this before. And uh, I'm like, I wonder why every little town has to have a psychic, but they do. And I told Chris, I said, there's no way all the, all these towns could have a real psychic. It's just a gimmick, you know. But anyway, um, I don't know why I thought of that. I just did. Let me get my lid for this. It's so good this morning. It's good to be back. It's good to see everybody. Um, Yes, everybody's okay. I'm sorry I, I scared y'all, but I mean, y'all knew we were, if we weren't okay, I would have told you. Uh, and if it ever has anything to do with me and Chris, I'll tell you. But when it comes to my kids, you know, there's only so much I can tell y'all about them before it, it interferes with their privacy. Um, and so, I can say, pray for May. How's that? It's May. So, I can say, y'all just keep May in your prayers. Um Everything's okay. She's doing good. Um, and I'm thankful to God that she is. And some of y'all um, might can put two and two together, but I can't really say anything. Um, these are my show and tell for the day. They are supposed to help you breathe better in your mask. Okay. I do have a link for them. They do work uh, and keep your mask from being right up against your face. You can see how they work. And I mean, they got holes so you can breathe through them. Okay. And I don't know if they'll keep your glasses from fogging up any more than normal, but I can test that out today when I go into the hospital to have my ultrasound. Uh, because I'll be going from hot to cool and it may want to fog up. This is a paper mask. These are really pretty. Um, 
and I'm going to wear this one today. Y'all, my favorite masks of all are my masks that I got from, um, believe it or not, Old Navy. They have the best masks. They're breathable. They're, they're adjustable on the ear. They're, they're just great. So if you have an Old Navy near you, I'm not kidding because I bought a lot of masks. I bought them online. I bought them in the store. I bought them in single packets. I bought them at Walmart. Of course, May got a couple at Walmart that looked really nice yesterday. Um, but anyway, these, uh, I may actually, we have an Old Navy in this little bitty town. We really do in this little county. I may actually stop there on my way home today and see if I can find some more because, you know, masks get tossed to and fro and, and then you lose them. But, and I want to continue to wear one for the most part. But I just thought I'd show you this little turtle. It's called a turtle. It's called a cool turtle. Because it looks like a turtle shell, okay? And uh, the link is on my website. Well, actually, it's on this post. They're $9.99 for a, a pack of these delivered through Amazon Prime, which is not bad. You get six of them. Uh, and, of course, it says you can wipe them. You know, you're supposed to wipe them off before you wear them again. Uh, but they're easy to clean. They're just plastic. So I just thought I'd show you all that today. Um, and I don't really know about the fogging thing. But, you know, I got fogging. Um, wipes for my glasses and they work i have to say they work but you have to apply it every day um matter of fact I think I'll, well i don't want to put that on my glasses because then i don't know how much the turtle's gonna work so <sighs> what are y'all talking about southern accents it's psychic not si sidekick I didn't say sidekick. I said psyche, psychic. I'm sorry. Hey, I talk the way I talk. Um, anyway, today's lesson is 7.36, and we got a few minutes. Whew. So Mama Joyce did pass away. I just heard that. Did she pass away like overnight or yesterday late or what? Do y'all know? Y'all tell me. Um, um, anyway, I was wondering about her this morning. She's actually on my list. And I know they put out a post not before last, I think it was, and said that Mama Joyce was still hanging on um, and that they had told her that it was okay to go home to be with Jesus. So, Whatever was holding her back, she finally went, didn't she? Um, I mean, I think it's a blessing. I look at death as a blessing many times when people are um, in a position where they're not healthy and their quality of life has changed so much that um, they don't. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, going to be with the Lord when you're saved. Now, if you're not saved, it's a horrible thing. But when you uh, know that you have hope in Jesus, um, death is not death. It's it's just going on from this life to another life. And even if we're going to miss them, and we and we do miss them, because um, I miss my mama, but they're in such a better place for them. And golly, what a hope we have to be with Jesus. I mean, it's just amazing to me. And yesterday when I posted the song, I hope y'all listened to it. And some of y'all had already listened to it a few days before. But even so, I couldn't get enough of that song. Um, it puts you in another place, a spiritual place. And, it, and it, it shows you how beautiful Christ is. I mean, he is absolutely glorious. And uh, the thoughts, uh, that, that song that I posted yesterday, if you didn't get a chance to look at it, go back and look at it and listen to it and make sure that your everything's quiet and you close your eyes and you really get into the spiritual side of it. And it may take you, I mean, it's real easy to because boy, does it raise the spirit in you. But it um, just gives us and shows us how beautiful Christ is. And when they talk about taking him down from that cross and laying him um, and wrapping him in linen, all I can think about is how beautiful he is. Just gorgeous, our Savior, Jesus Christ. So anyway, um, 
that put me in a better mood yesterday, just because no matter what we're going through, no matter how hard things seem to be, we have hope, y'all. That's the best thing that could ever happen to somebody is to, to accept Jesus as their Savior and have that eternal hope for not only them, but their families so that they can have peace when they do pass. And I'm so thankful for, for that more than anything in this world. And uh, no matter what we go through with our marriage or our children or, or our family, um, we still can rejoice in the fact that we have Jesus. Um, so anyway, everybody's fine. Just keep me in your prayers um, and just make sure and pray a lot for me the next few uh, weeks, please, because she needs it. Um, and uh, I'm going to go through the prayer list. I don't really have that many. And then we're going to do Bible study today. Um, I thank y'all for praying for my family. I really do. Um, and I'm sorry that I that I couldn't log on and say more than I can. Uh, but y'all know. I mean, um, y'all know I'm an open book. And if I can if I can tell y'all something, I will. Um, Dolor Dolores Howard had her spinal injection today and so um, I had actually put her down on this list several days ago when she told me it was today so we need to keep her in our prayers Betty has an unspoken request she sent me a personal message Barbara Hansen's friend Bob is in the hospital with COVID his family has it and she wants us to keep all of them in our prayers Janet Eaton's son she wants to continue us to continue to remember her son in our prayers mama Joyce was on my list but praise the Lord she is with Jesus Christ uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord and we rejoice for mama Joyce mama Joyce if you can hear us and see us we are so happy you are with your Lord and Savior this morning. Beverly Hefner's stress test and ultrasound on her heart. Beverly, um, I wrote that down. I think it was actually yesterday. And I hope that went well and you got some good news. Um, Tammy Morgan's son has surgery today. Amanda Niemeyer has an unspoken request. Carla Salyers. Oh, this is so sad. I have to say this is sad, but she still has hope. Okay. Um, Carla Salyers wrote a message and said that her mother passed away with stage four colon cancer on March the 10th. One week later, her father-in-law passed from the same thing. He had colon cancer. But the sad part is that Carla is pregnant with her first baby and her mother's would be first grandchild. And she thought that the Lord was going to let her mother see that grandbaby and it didn't happen. So it's hard on Carla. Um, regardless, even if her mama's with the Lord, cause she did say that it was God's will and she knew it was God's will and she knew her mama was with Jesus, but y'all it's still hard for Carla and, um, Pray that she will see new life in this child. The wonderful um, blessing that God has given her through this child to have life after her mother has passed and that she can actually see that her mother, and I know she can, but maybe God can give her more peace and joy in the fact that her mother is with Jesus Christ. And regardless, her mom is going to see that baby. Um, she may not be able to hold it, but she's actually uh, with Jesus Christ in her spiritual body, which is a wonderful thing. And so, Carla, I just want to tell you that I love you and I'm sorry you're going through that. Um, but you know what? God's blessed you with this baby and he's in control. And uh, so you keep going and uh, be happy because your mama would want you to be uh, with the birth of your child. So um, that's pretty much it for I'm just looking. 
Um, I'm, that's pretty much it for the prayer request this morning. Uh, since I have the doctor's appointment, I'm not sure that I'll get them typed up today. I want to cook, y'all. I've got to start cooking a little bit for Easter. I picked up ham yesterday, two kinds, so that I could show y'all the difference in cooking a spiral ham uh, and talk about shank and butt portions of ham. Um, I'm going to do a hash brown casserole. I'm going to do some green beans, of course. I'm going to do some potato salad and different things. But now, as far as for video, I'm going to do my hash brown casserole, uh, the ham. I have I've got a new idea on a delicious cake that I want to make, so I'll do that. Um, and so be looking forward to those uh, recipes coming up. I plan to start one today when I get home. Okay, I'm a little behind. And um, so me and Chris put off having our shots. And now that he's got a buddy coming in Saturday, we will have an Easter dinner for him and his family and invite them over for Easter dinner. Um, they've all been vaccinated. Me and Chris have not. Um, but we're going to have Easter dinner with them. Amy will be moving into her new apartment. I'm not sure that she will get to come home for Easter dinner and may won't be able to spend Easter with us this year. Um, but we'll have her in our prayers, okay? So, I, since I'm cooking for quite a few people, I am going to make make-ahead recipes. And everything that I make is going to be something I can slide in my refrigerator, cover it up, and then on the day of Easter, pull it out, put it in the oven on warm, and have it nice and toasty by the time everybody comes in. That's how I like to do Easter and Thanksgiving dinners. I like to have things that are pre-cooked, pre-made, and warmed in the oven. Not necessarily leftovers, but just prepared. Um, things that are good when they're prepared ahead like that. It sure makes it an easier day on you physically and mentally to be able to enjoy your company. Um, Regina says she bought those and she don't like them. I guess she means the gator turtles. Um, I mean, to each, you know, to each his own. I just got them yesterday. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I wore it around the house for a little while, and I could breathe better with it on. It's cool what kind of mask you have. Some masks breathe easy, and some masks do not. If you've got the kind of mask that you can't breathe good in, then this would really help you. If you've got the kind of mask that's thin enough that it's real easy to breathe through, then there's really no need for it. But some of us um, wear uh, I've noticed that if the material is not cotton and more like a polyester, it's harder to breathe through. Um, so it's just according to what kind of masks we're wearing and whether or not it's going to help us. The only thing that I'm a little confused about is it's got these little clips on it. But um, I'm not sure what the clips are for because you can't clip it to your mask because it has to be on the inside of the mask here in your mask. You know, it doesn't have a place to clip to your mask right here. So, if y'all know a trick, let me know what it is. Because it doesn't say on the... Well, actually, there's directions. Yeah, like a man and not looking at them. Let's see if it even says. No, this is an advertisement for a diamond ring. Really? Oh, there's another one. Lord of mercy, use under your mask the cool turtle. Place the cool turtle mini basket inside of your non-medical mask. If your mask has creases, the slide, clip, slide the clip into the crease. If using cloth, there's no need to use the clips. But my creases are actually upside down from the direction that this would clip onto them. Um, if I put the metal to the top, so the creases don't matter. So, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Like, if you look at my mask, it's like this. And so, the crease, this is the crease. In order for me to hook it, I would have to put it on one of these creases. So, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm just trying to do it. Do it, do it. And then, 
I don't think there's a need to, to slide it on a crease, but if you wanted to. So if I was going to put it on a crease, it would have to go that direction. And my metal for the top of my mouth is this direction. So I would have to put, yo, I just put that on upside down. Do they mean you put it on the outside? They just don't even make sense. There's no way to do it unless you creased it to the, that doesn't make sense. It would have to crease on the outside. I guess I could stick this. Anyway, pretty much you put it under your mask. Because crease things a bunch of bull. How's that? A bunch of bull. Okay. But I do have more room to breathe under it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And it's not going to fall out. So, I'm going to try it, y'all. Why not? Keep my lipstick from rubbing it against my mask. Because now when you go in places to eat and stuff, you have your mask on, but then you take it off when you get to the table. So you can wear lipstick. So if, for anything, for lipstick lovers like me, it don't mess up your lipstick. <laughs> All right, let's do Bible study. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Charles Haddon Spurgeon's morning reading coming out of the blue letter Bible.org. Um, this is, with his stripes we are healed. Praise the Lord, right? With his stripes we are healed. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. All right, I'm going to change my view. My refrigerator's talking to us. Okay, i got to get started because I have to be at my ultrasound appointment at 830. Pilate delivered our Lord to the lictors, officers, to be scourged and whipped. The Roman scourge was a most dreadful instrument of torture. It was made of the sinews, the tough tendons and ligaments of oxen. And sharp bones were intertwisted every here and there among the sinews. And y'all know that if you take tendons and ligaments and they dry out to room temperature or like to just dry out, you know how that would be really hard already without the bones. And then it has bones in it. So it's not like a lot of people thing where it's twigs it's twisted tendons and ligaments from oxen it says so that every time the lash came down with these pieces of bone inflicted fearful laceration and tore off the flesh from the bone the savior was no doubt bound to the column and thus beaten he had been beaten before but this of the Roman officers was probably the most severe of his beatings. My soul stand here and weep over his poor stricken body. I mean, nothing puts it in perspective to me um, and makes it touch your heart any more than the song we listened to yesterday. Um, and the part that got me the most in that song is when the guy whose sword pierced him cried out that this is Jesus Christ. I mean, to me. And he, and he fell to his knees. Could you imagine how he felt after piercing him? When in fact, all of us pierced Jesus Christ, every single one of us, because he died for us in our sin. It's just crazy to think about um and so if you didn't get a chance to listen to that please listen to it and even if you did take a minute this morning and listen to that beautiful song and what our savior's done for us it says believer in jesus can you gaze upon him without tears as he stands before you in the mirror of agonizing love he is at once he is at once fair as the lily for innocence. 
and red as the rose with the crimson of his own blood. As we feel the sure and blessed healing which his stripes have wrought in us, does not our heart melt at once with the love and grief? If ever we have loved our Lord Jesus, surely we must feel that affection glowing now within our bosoms. This is, um, this is a quote. It says, see how the patient Jesus stands, insulted in his lowest case. Sinners have bound the almighty hands and split in their creator. Oh, and spit in their creator's face. See how the patient Jesus stands, insulted in his lowest case. Sinners have bound the Almighty's hands and spit in their Creator's face. With thorns his temples gored and gashed, send streams of blood from every part. His backs with knotted scourge lashed, but sharper scourges tear his heart. We would willingly go to our chambers and weep, but since our business calls us away, and he's talking about us today with the things that we have to do and go to work, etc., we will first pray our beloved to print the image of his bleeding self upon the tablets of our hearts all the day. And at nightfall, we will return to commune with him and sorrow that our sin should have cost him so dear. I mean, after, to me, no matter who you are and what you're going through, and I mean it, no matter what you're going through, if you could close your eyes and listen to that song we posted yesterday, it should take you to a place where you can see the love of your Savior and know that he's the most important thing and no matter what, because you have hope in him, because he has done this for your sin and given you a free pardon from hell. That's all we need to rejoice in this life. Because everything else is his anyway. And everything else is in his hand. And so when I, I, I sat in the sunroom and I listened to that song over and over. And I just praised the Lord and raised my hands in praise and worship to him because that's all that matters. Because without him, we wouldn't be here. Without him, we wouldn't be breathing. It's his blessing that puts us here. And we are to shout and, and, and praise him and give him glory no matter what we're going through because he deserves it. He deserves it. And I'm so thankful that we have eternal life in him. And I'm thankful for what he did for me. And I pray you are as well. I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever. And I'm, I'm so thankful and grateful to him. Um, so I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I am going to head to the hospital in about 10 minutes to have my ultrasound. It's just for my... Remember when I was bleeding, female bleeding, and we didn't know what was going on? Well, the pap came back normal, so I haven't been too worried. But I never got my ultrasound done because I missed my appointment. It was already like two weeks out, and then I missed it. So I'm going to do it today, finally. And then I think I have another appointment this week coming up. Let me look, just in case. So thanks for tuning in early. Next week, I have my first appointment with my new general doctor, Dr. Sweat, at 2.30. And that's all it's on the schedule for next week. And that's when Chris friends will be here. So, um, y'all just keep our family in your prayers, mostly May. Uh, pray that the Lord would give her strength and lift her up. And uh, we thank you for everything, uh, every prayer you pray. We appreciate it. Thank God. I was thinking last night when all y'all were praying for me and I was listening and I was reading all the comments. Being able to pray is such a blessing. You know, before Jesus Christ died, seriously, y'all, before he died, 
we didn't have direct access to the Father. We had to, God worked through men like Moses and, and Adam and, uh, I mean, Abraham, not Adam, and different people like that. And when Jesus Christ died, he broke that veil between us and the Lord. And now we can pay, pray directly to the Lord God because Jesus is our mediator. Do y'all know what a blessing that is for us to be able to just pray to our Lord and know that it's getting through? I mean, for heaven's sakes, we have so many blessings that we take for granted each and every day. So prayer is such a sweet, wonderful, wonderful blessing. And I thank each and every one of you for praying for us over the last couple of days. I could feel it. And um, I was so thankful for it when I got home and read all your comments. So we love y'all too. Okay. And we do pray for you. Um, so we're going to head out of here to my appointment. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed Wednesday. I'm going to get in my kitchen in my happy place. Chris is fishing and I am just going to um, have a good day. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today and we thank you for the hope, Lord, that we have in your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you so much for that direct access that you have provided for us, your children, Lord, that have um, trusted in Jesus Christ as our Savior, that we could have direct access through Jesus Christ in our prayers to you and that we don't have to go through another person and that we can just pray anytime, any place, anywhere, and you hear our voice. And we thank you for that. It is such a miracle to have a God that is everywhere, that knows everything, that hears every word from everybody all at the same time all over the world. It is such a miracle that we take for granted. And we thank you for it. Many people give the devil that kind of credit. The devil is one person or one angel that you created. He is not everywhere with everybody at the same time. Um, only you, Lord, have that power. And I pray that um, we don't give the devil credit, that we see that most of the sin or really all of the sin in our life is our own doing because of our flesh. It's not got anything to do necessarily with the devil for the world is the devil's place and he has made things around us so that we fall victim um, and our flesh is weak and it's us, Lord, that sin, and we shouldn't blame the devil. Uh, for many of us live in our flesh more than we live in our spirit. May we uh, take that to heart today, Lord. May we, we meditate on you today and your love and what you did for us through your son, Jesus Christ. And um, just know that we have so much hope and glory um, it's just unbelievable. Um, the only miracle that we need is just the miracle of prayer, your word, and Jesus Christ. And we thank you for all three of those, of course. Um, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love all y'all. Love you.